Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Pineapple and today I am working on a bold blue farmhouse because I do not know how to name things anymore if I ever did and yes. Basically I'm in love with this wallpaper that we got in the island expansion pack. Island Paradise, Paradise Living, Island Living. I forget at this time. <laughs> I I request that you don't judge me. I'm very rusty. It's been, I haven't even checked. It, it's probably been at least two months since I have posted a video. I have been up to a lot and I will tell you about it in just a second. But first, let's be professional and talk about the build. Um, so this ended up being a three bathroom, two and a half, wait, no, three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. I was about to say two and a half bedroom and I don't know what that would look like. Would there just be half a bed? Would it be like a toddler's room? Would that be the bedroom? I'm not sure. But anyways, <laughs> three bed, two and a half bathroom. And I did it in kind of like a farmhouse sort of style. Um, seemingly very HGTV to me. And yeah, I had a lot of fun. Struggled a little bit with like the living room area because I always do. But overall, I liked how it turned out. So back to me. <laughs> Um, so I do unfortunately have a bad announcement to start out with. I will not be going back to streaming. As some of you may have known, I was streaming on Twitch every Saturday at 9 a.m. PST and it was just too much with my schedule. I am a full-time grad student and trying to do that and YouTube and grad school, it was just way too much. So for the sake of my sanity and own personal happiness, I've decided to do a semi-permanent hiatus. Maybe I'll get back to it at some point. Maybe I will be on winter break and I'll be like, you know, I, I do want to stream. But for now, <laughs> for now, I've decided to stop kind of torturing myself and let myself sleep in on Saturdays. <laughs> it's so sad. I just want to sleep in on Saturdays. Okay. No, but for real, I am I am pretty excited just because I'm like in class from 8.30 to 5.30 every day. Okay, I haven't even, I start, I start fall classes tomorrow and I'm already complaining about them. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just not. I, I had three weeks break for summer and that's it. And you know, some grad schools, you don't have to do summer, but not mine. So, but, but, okay, honestly, though, summer, summer was pretty cool. So I um, did a rural rotation, and so I got to go to a rural town and do lots of interesting things. I mean, for one of my assignments, I basically had to, like, get to know the town, and, like... The town that I was sent to is probably the least rural of all the towns that, like, my other seven classmates, because I only have seven. Well, I'm going to have more now that I'm back in Seattle. Yay! Uh, my, my program's very complicated and confusing, and sometimes I don't even understand it. Most of the time I don't understand it. But anyways, <laughs> um, my, my town was really a city, and it had, like, over 40,000 people in it. And that's a lot. That's a lot. A lot of the other towns had less than 10,000. So anyways, but we had to like find out all this information about the town and like, what's the real estate like? And are there any restaurants? And do you see people walking around? And like all these random questions, and there were so many of them. And one of them, I think was my favorite was like, do you see any pets around? Are there a lot of stray animals? And I'm like, this is Okay, this is one a weird question. And so, like, I hadn't. I hadn't seen any pets, like, any stray animals around. But what I had seen was, like, a lot of quails. And so I put in my report, <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of stray animals, but there are a lot of quails. And I know this because I've almost ran them over twice because they keep darting out in front of my car. <laughs> I literally put that. It was great. Uh, don't know if anyone even reads it. That's kind of part of the thing of grad school. Depending on the program you're in, sometimes you're not even sure if anyone looks at your work ever. Like, there are some things that I swear they just make us do to do. And then other times, they actually do grade them. It's it's a weird life. You never quite know what they are and aren't going to grade. And so we all just are little nerds and we kind of do our best anyways. 
Apparently. I don't know. I've been finding out that, like, I did, was doing telecommuting for a really long time, and so I've been finding out that apparently I am one of the very few people that, I guess, pay attention in class. I don't know. Or, like, very strict attention. So, like, because a lot of people will be, like, online shopping, and I do that sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I definitely do that sometimes. Or playing solitaire. And, like... I'm just not doing those things. I'm just very, very focused. <laughs> and apparently that's like not a thing that everyone does. And it makes me feel like a dweeb. But on the other hand, I'm paying a lot for graduate school. So what else am I going to do if not pay attention in class? I don't understand this. But like that being said, if my classmates aren't paying attention in class, it's because they're really, really smart and I guess they don't have to. Or they'll just study outside of class or they'll be doing homework for another class in the class they're currently in. But like, I just can't do that. It makes me feel anxious. And like, we have a lot of staggered tests. So in some classes, we'll be studying for like a test that's happening that afternoon but the material in lecture isn't what's going to be on the test so nobody's paying attention to the lecture and I'm always like but this lecture is going to be on the next test so like why aren't we paying attention to this lecture I know it's not on the test today but it's going to be on the test next week and so you're just stuck in an endless cycle of not paying attention in lecture and I just don't understand what the point is but it works for other people, so it works for other people. But it just, I just, I think I worry. I have this like weird thing where I'm half concerned that I'm not smart enough to be in grad school, but I'm also too nerdy to be in grad school. But then I'm like, but isn't that, good? I don't know. I don't know. And we're going to get off the subject because <sighs> stay in school, guys, but school does really suck. <laughs> stay in school but school does suck just just power through it that's just all we gotta do I use so many sunroofs I'm just obsessed with using sunroofs in the sims I really do I really do love it like and I feel like I try and incorporate them into every build and it really worked in this one because we have like this really nice outdoor like patio space living in the backyard and that ended up being the thumbnail I think that might be the first time I've used the back of the build as the thumbnail, but it just, it looks so nice. And the front of the build, you know, it looks okay, but it just looks kind of generic. But the back of the build, I'm like, okay, this is kind of unique. I'm kind of digging it. So we went with that. I'm making weird hand gestures. Oh, shoot. I forgot that I've been doing face, face cam for these. Well, that's not happening now. Clearly. Wow. Oh, boy. I just completely forgot that that's what I've been doing. Well, next time, next time, because right now I am just, I am in my summer break clothes. We'll leave it at that because <laughs> I am not dressed for camera. My hair is like a mess. It's been so hot here. I'm sweaty, which is real attractive. I'm so glad you know that now about me. Aren't we just a little bit all closer here? But yeah, so next time. And I did just move. I had to round up all of my stuff before I moved out of the like place I was telecommuting from. Had to round up all of my stuff, move it back into Seattle. And then I had to go on this rural rotation. And then I had to come back from that. And so everything's been in like disarray. And um, like when people ask me, so what are you going to do with your three weeks of summer break? And I'm like, I'm going to organize my apartment because it's a dang mess. There are boxes everywhere. Well, not anymore, but there were. Like, we couldn't walk places, like, within our apartment. There were just boxes everywhere in every room. Like, it was, it was really messy. And so I'm looking at my apartment now. It's definitely improved. No, it's improved a lot. I have reorganized our apartment. I have a new desk set up. I have a new computer. That's new too. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so bad at this. I didn't even tell you the exciting news. I got a new computer. I should probably leave the specs somewhere. I didn't make it myself because ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I, <laughs> I was too busy, but I got an Ikea desk. I like made it my like I picked out each piece myself it's very pretty it's like gray and black and oh the legs are hexagonal no they're not they're octagonal 
<laughs> we also got a new bed, which I'm so excited for because the old one was very like, like one person would move and the bed would creak or one person would sit down on it and it would kind of shudder a bit and you're like, is this going to fall apart in the night? And like the mattress had divots in it and we had put a foam pad on top of it just to try and be slightly comfortable. But the pad was so thick that you like, you'd lay down and then you just couldn't move because you'd be like enveloped. It was a very uncomfortable mattress. So we did the very adult thing and got a new mattress and a new bed frame. And I'm so excited. It doesn't move. I want to do that thing, you know, in all those like old cable commercials where they'd put like a glass of red wine on the bed and then jump on it. I really want to do that, except not because I don't want to risk anything. But like, I think it'd do pretty well. I think it would do pretty well. I don't think the wine glass would fall over. Not going to test it in any way, shape, or form, but I'm pretty excited. Oh my gosh, at the mattress store, oh my gosh, the salesperson. So, like, we told her what our budget was, and then she, like, told us, like, gave us, like, we basically told her what our budget was. And then she showed us the bed that was $2,000 above the budget, we said, and she's like, this is within your budget. And, like, I think, I think that she was thinking that we would be paying it off a little bit by little in a long installment. So I think she was thinking, oh, you'll only have to pay this month per month, which is the same as if you bought this mattress just for a lot longer, just for like two years. You'll just be paying off this bed for two years. It's fine. It's made in New Zealand. And me and my boyfriend are just like, we don't care where this bed is made. We're not spending like $3,000 on a bed. I, who has that kind of money? Okay, sorry, I'm getting like riled up. Also, she really tried to sell, like apparently it's like really in right now to get mattresses that can like do the wave, basically. Like you put them in any shape, you can sit them up, you can do whatever. And like all mattresses now have that capability and you need the frame for it. And the frame's like $400. And so she was trying to sell us that. And like, she's like, she's like, you know, having us get on the bed and try it. And she's like, you know, I don't taco people. And my boyfriend and I are both like, what? And she's like, that's when the bed just tacos, you know, turns into a taco. And we both kind of regretted not insisting that she taco us. She's like, I've done it twice before, but I don't do it to people. And I'm like, I'm really confused by this, but okay. <laughs> I really wish we had it. It would have been an experience. But she also tried to sell us that, even though we had told her we had just bought a new bed frame. So I don't, she was, she's a salesperson. I understand. You got to make a living somehow. But yeah, we're not, we don't need a bed with taco capabilities. And it was kind of funny because she was like, these beds are, you know, you, you think they're only good for older people, but they're great for younger people too. Gamers love them. They love to just sit up their bed and play games in bed and you don't have to get out of bed. And I'm like, what kind of lifestyle are you supporting? Also, true gamers, excuse you, true gamers like me, Penelope, who plays The Sims pretty much exclusively have desktops and you can't take those in bed. I'm being very sarcastic right now and I really hope you guys know that. Anyways, the kitchen turned out really cute. I feel like I tend to have problems with kitchen layouts and I really struggled with this one. I took out a lot of the struggling, a lot of the struggling, but this one ended up cute and you can see I, I feel like I struggled with this kitchen because I had so many windows because as we all know, I'm absolutely addicted to putting as many windows as possible onto any wall in any room, just anywhere I can put a window. I'd love to put one there. I love natural lighting. It's my favorite. Um, yeah, so I had a little trouble with that. It's also like a weird shape and it was kind of uneven with the stick out things, but I like how it turned out. And I do love this trick with the greenery. I think it looks really cute. So I think the kitchen ended up looking pretty great. Like overall, I'm pretty pleased with this build. This was my first time building since we got all of the new, um, like live cheat live object modes, like the two two thousand five hundred plus objects we got in the update, and building with the new swatches, I think. No, not that late. But I also hadn't gotten the latest stuff pack, and I actually, I actually I let the game changer program know that I I couldn't like do anything with it because. Uh, like in a game changer capacity because I didn't have a computer because <laughs> I was in the process of moving. And they're like, okay, cool. And I think I probably still could have gotten it for free, but I literally just forgot. And so for the first time in a really long time, I had to buy a stuff pack. And I was kind of like torn up about buying it. I was like, is this really worth it? And I was like, 
Oh, Penelope. You have literally every single piece of DLC in the Sims 4 franchise. You're not gonna not get this. <laughs> I, I just, it's, it's an addiction. And I'm, I'm living it, you know. And hopefully you can at least live vicariously through me. But yeah, so I didn't actually use, I think, any of the new stuff pack in this build. Um, I was kind of trying to stay limited. Not really. I don't know. Lately, I've been doing this thing where I try not to use a whole bunch of random stuff from a whole bunch of random stuff packs so you don't get like 50 like game pack, expansion pack stuff in there. But mostly it's more just I'm like slightly torturing myself and then still using a whole bunch. So I'm like, you can't use that. You can't use that. But you can use this, this, and this from all these other things. It's, it's a weird dynamic, guys. But that's just how I live. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, one of the things I did over summer, I'm so excited. I was a bridesmaid in my brother's wedding. It was really exciting. Ugh. I like, it was just such a nice wedding. It was so good. I'm like, ugh, so happy. Um, and uh, I like, I don't know if I said this, but I, I got put down as the second bridesmaid to walk. And I was just, it was such an honor. <laughs> I was like, really me? But she she let me be the second bridesmaid, and it was really cool. And I felt like I stepped up the second bridesmaid. I wasn't maid of honor, but I was second bridesmaid. I guess technically first bridesmaid because I was after the maid of honor. But she counts as a she counts as a bridesmaid, right? I'm not sure. But one thing I do know for sure is I really hate how people call them matron of honor. Like I get that like that's technically the name if you're married. But like matron of honor are you kidding me what why is that an acceptable thing it's like old person of honor <laughs> why just call a maid i feel like if i ever get married and my bride my like maid of honor is married i'm just gonna be like we're just calling you maid of honor because unless they really want to be called matron of i don't know anyway <laughs> it was just like a, i didn't know that was a thing there were a lot of things about wedding culture i didn't know they were a thing until my brother got married and I became more intimate in the wedding planning, especially because my mom did a lot of the planning. And so I just, there were a lot of things I learned. <laughs> um, but yeah, so wedding. Um, me stepping up, I, I felt really slick and cool because like, well, first, this part wasn't me, but we forgot the vows in the changing room. So we had to send um, one of, we had to send one of the bride's sister's husband so one of the bride's brother-in-laws he went he ran to go get it he came back the poor thing was like sweating we like hand her the vows she's got them kind of tucked in her to her bouquet as she's walking down the aisle it falls like right as she's getting right to the front it falls out and it's just in the grass <laughs> and i'm like oh shoot so i kind of like dart forward and grab it and i'm just holding it and at one point she kind of like turns around and is like I think she realized where are my vows and I like kind of waved them up really fast <laughs> and she was like okay good and so then like when it finally came part to her turn for the vows I just kind of like stepped forward and like slid them out and then sat back down and like later my dad was like yeah I was wondering what all that was and I'm like oh shoot I was supposed to be like I thought I was being really slick and nobody would notice that I'm just like darting forward and back but of course everyone did because it was actually kind of cool all of the bridesmaids and the grooms people got to sit down for the for the whole thing and I was pretty pleased with that <laughs> not gonna lie I was pretty excited to get to sit down <laughs> and also like I got to be in the front row and I got to see everything oh my gosh you guys I almost lost it like I almost lost it multiple times crying wise but the part I really almost lost it was you know you can you look at the bride and you're like wow she's so pretty but then you look at the groom and you just look at their face and I'm just like, oh my God, you guys, he's so happy. Oh, I'm going to start crying now if I think about it too much. Oh my gosh. He just, uh, I cannot even describe the look on his face. It was just, oh my God. Anyways, <laughs> so I loved my brother's wedding. The only thing I didn't love about my brother's wedding was the bachelorette party. <laughs> It was really nice, 
the but I just I didn't do a great job <laughs> it was really chill bachelorette party first we went to my favorite bakery in the world and the maid of honor was super nice she was like oh I bought I'm paying I'm paying I bought everything for everyone and so I look around I had showed up a little late I look around and everyone has like a coffee and like a cookie and I'm like okay coffee cookie I'm a little bit hungry but like you know like just because someone's paying for something doesn't mean I want to go all out and like order she's like get anything off the menu and I'm like of course I'm not going to do that whatever anyone says get anything off the menu to me that means get something that's moderately priced at the most <laughs> so I order a muffin and a coffee and I'm like okay I really like this muffin like you know I love this bakery's food I would love to have eaten but you know that's fine we're gonna be going to go get our nails done soon everyone got a full meal one person got two meals basically and I was just like and then the bride was like oh aren't you hungry and I was like no because <laughs> I didn't just want to be like oh yeah I didn't realize what the price point was I don't know I just felt extremely awkward and very hungry and very sad because I almost never get a chance to go to that bakery because it's in my hometown that's the moral of the story guys it's I don't know if there is a moral to the story I don't know what I would have done differently I guess maybe show up on time <laughs> but in my defense there was a parade <laughs> the biggest parade of the year and we had to find our way around it but anyway Anyways, moving on from that, the other part, I, did, I like, I really like the bride, um, the bachelorette party because I love getting to hang out with everyone. We went to go get our nails done and I'm just not a nail salon kind of person. I just feel very uncomfortable, especially when they start bringing the Dremel towards me. I panic. Okay, although to be fair, the person, they were doing a really rush job because they were not prepared for a bridal shower or bride bachelorette party, even though we told them how many people were going to be there. They were just not prepared. So they're rushing to get us out on time because we have to get to the dress rehearsal. And so the guy who was like getting my nails prepared for the, the dip nails, which is like powder magic witchcraft, um, he was taking the Dremel and he was going really fast and he actually sliced my, my finger open. And it was painful and it bled and then he got acrylic powder on it and it was just not it was not fun and I'm looking at my nails now because I took off my nail polish and I need to put on new stuff and like I have divots in my nails and they're terrible but I bought really fun holographic nail polish and that's exciting and I'll put those on that on later but yeah I am now in the situation where I'm having to slowly grow out the divots in my nails and it's not pretty you guys it's really not and I don't like nail salons and I was very hungry <laughs> I was not having a good time. I was like really enjoying being a part of the group and like talking with everyone, but I did not, I, I should have just like, I don't, I should, I should have just asked them to paint my nails like regular, but like I was definitely trying to go with the flow too much and I don't blame myself very much for that, but I also very much do. It was a rough situation, but I was very grateful to be there. So yeah, anyway that's my long story I just I swear I use this channel just to complain well not really because I got to celebrate my brother's wedding on here it was really cool it was really fun um nobody danced that was slightly awkward well they had a like morning wedding like the wedding started at 11 um in the morning so it was kind of it was too early for dancing but yeah like nobody danced like we danced for like the first two songs and then everybody walked off the dance floor um <laughs> yeah also I really wanted to catch the bouquet I like I actually did that thing where you take two fingers towards your eyes and you point at the person and like you know you point back at them like I'm watching you like that or you know or like but I was like trying to signal to the bride to throw it to me and she like nodded and she was like yes I will throw it to you and then it just went really haywire and like across and the only way I would have gotten is if I had like lunged and <laughs> I feel like that's not a great look I would have had to like tackle somebody but yeah anyways Anyways, I love how this bedroom turned out as well. I really played out around with the color scheme. I've been trying to use different beds. And so I tried to use this bed because it kind of is like a weird orange and blue, which isn't a very common color scheme, but I personally love orange. So I really leaned into it and I think it turned out great. And I got to use that painting from the Hollywood one. Oh my gosh, you guys get famous. Okay, there are just so many now. I just, I can't keep them straight. 
I just can't. Um, so I got to use that painting and it was very cute. Um, you know what? I am excited for Realm of Magic. I am going to try very hard to get something out for it, even though I am just starting school. Maybe that's the best time because they won't have pounded us with homework and projects yet. I've heard that my second year is supposed to be the worst, so we have that to look forward to. Anyways, anyways, you know what I did? So while I was doing my rural rotation, I had to find somewhere to live for a month. And so I, I talked about this on a different one, about how the person who was supposed to help me find housing was like, oh, here's an Airbnb with one bed, no, basically no kitchen, just a microwave and a fridge. Oh, and it's 30 minutes away from your town and it's over budget because I was sharing with like um, a classmate. So we needed two beds, okay? <laughs> we couldn't just share one bed. Anyways, I told that story before, but I did manage to find a really nice Airbnb and the school covered the, the cost, which was nice, and we could afford it because it was two of us living together. And But let me just say, it is very weird to live in an Airbnb for a month. The hosts were super nice, but they were they also were like, this is a weird situation. We've never had anyone for more than like four days tops. <laughs> uh, so it was just like weird because like they aren't the landlords. They're not your roommates. They're not, you don't know them. It was just a very weird situation overall, but like it went pretty well. I think the biggest thing was like that level of awkward, like got toned down a little bit, but it never fully went away. It was just always slightly awkward. <laughs> and like my classmate walked in on them kissing once and she was like, I think they hate me now. And I'm like, no, they don't. I'm sure they don't. But, <laughs> and like, they kept wanting us to eat their food, and I'm vegetarian, so I kind of got, like, a pass on some of that, you know, but then they started making, like, separate things for me, and I was like, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, <laughs> like, because we would buy our own food, you know, because, like, we don't want to, like, mooch off of them, and, like, so we'd buy our own food, and so we'd buy something like onions, and they'd be like, why'd you buy onions? We have onions. Don't buy onions. Don't buy any more onions, and we're like, I, <laughs> like, I feel, <laughs> It was just so awkward. Like, I feel like it's so weird. I just didn't want to take something of theirs that they were going to use for something else. Like, what if they all of a sudden were, decided they were going to make an onion quiche and I took two of their eggs and, like, one of their onions and then they just didn't have enough for their onion quiche? What then? <laughs> what then? So, and there were so many desserts. I was like, ah, because I'm trying not to eat too much sugar. Like, I'm not trying to restrict anything too much, but just, you know, like, try not to eat too much sugar, just as a blanket category, because, you know, sugar, sugar. Anyways, but yeah, so she'd be like, I made pie and ice cream cake and blah, 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 and cookies, and please have, and I'm just like, I, I made my own special dessert, like, I, ah, <laughs> I was just very overwhelmed with hospitality. That's a thing, I think, right? Being overwhelmed with hospitality, super nice. But yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> and so was my classmate. We were both like, this is like slightly, this is slightly odd. We just never quite knew what to make the situation. But yeah, so you can do anything for a month, basically. But yeah, so, oh, what can I, what can I complain about? We don't have super amount of much time, but I, I could always complain about school. I will tell you one thing. I had, I have a whole bunch of equipment that I need for school, and so I had to move that all back, and so I got a locker, and I have this tray that's been in sterilization for basically all year, because I've been getting emails about it, them being like, we have your tray in sterilization, you need to come pick it up, it has debris on it, we can't clean it, you have to clean it yourself before you come sterilize it, and I'm like, guys, I get it, I get it, I understand I'm currently living like 300 miles away. <laughs> Do you want me to get a classmate to come pick it up for me? And they always be like, they wouldn't, they either wouldn't address that or once when I asked that, they were like, well, we've held it for like nine months already. So I guess another two months won't matter that much. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't, don't like, I, uh. <laughs> so anyways, I, I go back to the school 
and it's before classes even start. I'm trying to move some stuff in, you know, be prepared. And I'm like, why don't I get the tray? You know, I'm here. Like, let's get the tray. School hasn't started, but I feel I feel really bad. I feel also like attacked. Anyways, <laughs> I'm a sensitive soul, so I feel really bad. So. I go to sterilization. Well, first of all, I can't find sterilization. It used to be on two floors. So it used to be two sterilizations. I have to ask an upperclassman. I'm like, um, where is sterilization? And he looks at me like I'm an alien because why wouldn't I know where sterilization is? So I had to explain that I'm one of the telecommuter students. And he was like, oh, okay. And he was like, but you know, you know, so I go to, he tells me sterilization is, it moved. It actually moved, guys, okay? <laughs> I was like, am I going crazy? They combined it into one floor. But anyways, I was like, where did it go? I swear it was here. So I go to sterilization. They have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm like, they're like, try try the dispensary. I'm like, okay, I go to the dispensary. They have to tell me where it is too because I forgot. I feel like such, ugh, I feel like a, such a newbie. And I go to the dispensary. They also have no idea what I'm talking about. And they're like, well, we'll try emailing the person who emailed you about it because we have no idea. And I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> so I still have to email that person. But I both feel a lot worse about the situation, a lot better. I feel better because it doesn't seem like anyone is really truly being inconvenienced by this tray. But I also feel worse because I fully comprehended how I don't know anything that's going on at the school anymore. And I'm going to need to figure that out. And so, oh. Oh boy. But anyways, I did this sort of like warring style room where, you know, you have the kind of gothic style versus the more feminine, traditionally feminine style. And I thought it turned out really cute. I tried to tie in the two sides by matching some of the whites. And so I think they go pretty well together. And I do love doing these kinds of rooms. But this is the build overall. I have rambled and complained for almost 33 minutes straight. And I'm actually pretty pl proud of with how this voiceover turned out since I'm so rusty. This is the first take, guys. Usually I, I need at least four takes um, getting anywhere from 30 seconds to five minutes in before I like tee out because I've said something absolutely ridiculous, <laughs> like more ridiculous than whatever you heard here. And I have to restart, but we made it pretty far. And so we have all our rooms. And so I kind of imagine like, um, two adults and three kids staying here and I kind of imagine all the kids as being kid level so that it can use the like play area I made downstairs. I realize their rooms seem a little bit more mature than that. They almost seem more like teenager level but the play area was just so cute and so were the kids rooms so I just I went with it. So anyways. Um, we are coming up on the end of this build. I will be trying to do something for Realm of Magic. I will not be streaming anymore. Unfortunately, I won't even be doing like a goodbye stream just because I'd have to reset everything up and I have a new computer and it just seemed like a lot. It just seemed like a lot. So I'm giving myself a break there and yeah, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you had any some fun summer things that you did, please let me know. I'd love to hear in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a really great day, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!